Welcome to Real Time Signals Technologies and today we will see Data Science Pipeline. There are number of significant steps to carry out when working in data science. It is somewhat analogous to the software development methodology which has fallen out of favor or practice in recent years, the waterfall method. The waterfall method in software is requirements, design, implementation, verification and maintenance. I do log the analogy for data science better because each cascade to the waterfall needs to flow nicely and the water as data fits nicely in the analogy much nicer than it does for software. In any case the reason the analogy falls apart is because of iteration. We often need to circle back to the top tuner methods and repeat. How do we get the water back up to the top of the waterfall? No matter. I won't balabo this analogy much longer. We will get to the specifics. In this video, I will discuss the data science pipeline as our foundational steps to use in practice. Now there are a number of similar yet different approaches. But they often boil down to this five. First we need domain specific study. We need to know the domain of our problem. What are we working in? Are we working with the sales department or marketing department? Are we working in the medical field? Are we working in some other industry? Are we doing image recognition for advertising? Are we doing web search, text analysis, content analysis? There is lot of different areas of study that need or can use data science. We could be in automotive industry working on self-driving cars. It's a very popular topic right now. All these require data science and machine learning. Now, before we get to all the fun math and statistics and machine learning, we need to get some data. So the second step in the data science pipeline is data wrangling. Now this covers all the main things that we do to gather data, to filter it, to massage it, to clean it. We need to get it into a state that we can perform some analysis and some machine learning on it. Now for me, I think this is the most critical step because if we don't have good data, if we don't have clean data, we have problems. So no matter how good our methods are for machine learning or analysis, we need a well trained, a very good training data or our models won't be accurate. They will be lacking. We won't be able to put any of it into practice because the data we use to develop these methods won't be any good. And then we get into our data analysis. So this is where our mathematics and statistics come into play where we can start to test the data hip hypothesis and test our hypothesis. And if we need to apply machine learning methods, that's our step 4. And then finally, once we have done all these important steps, we need to communicate the results. So we need to visualize our data. We need to write narratives around it. We need to write stories. We need to make decisions based on this data. Now I like to look at it as this cyclical method. No, we don't have a as in the waterfall method. We don't start with our study and finish with our communication and then the process just ends and that's it. So if all goes well, we can start with our study, wrangle, analyze, learn and communicate. And then based on those results and what we communicate, we continue with our study and then continue the process in a cycle. But it can also be cyclical across two or three points. When we repeat a number of small steps, iterate back and proceed forward again. That's quite a common occurrence in data science. So we have our study, we do some data wrangling, some analysis and then realize that we are, you know, you know, maybe have gone down the wrong path or we need some more information or uh, we go back to our study, wrangle some more data, analyze again and continue in that fashion. It's the same for the other parts. We may analyze, learn, wrangle, analyze, learn, wrangle. We might be running our learning models on more and more test data until we get inefficiency, inaccuracy accuracy, limit our errors to a significant level so that we can put it into practice or that we get to a point where we can communicate our results. So then finally we communicate our results and then we continue on with more studies. So we will think of this as a cyclical process. Now each individual element is almost a discipline on its own. That's what sets data science apart. It's very multidisciplinary. Each one of these nodes requires its own specific skills and methods to do it well. Good data wrangling takes all of your coding tricks of the trade to get the most out of it. 
So just remember these individual items as your foundational data science pipeline steps and that will conclude this introduction to our data science pipeline. Thank you.